What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 25th anniversary Chimchar promo card leak. And to me, this is a huge deal because it points as many stuff that is potentially going to be happening in the next couple of months for the Pokemon company going into next year and actually learning about the events that are going to be happening for the 25th anniversary next year. If you're new around here, guys, I do videos like this every day, Pokemon discussion videos, leak discussion videos, let's plays. If you join the vibes, hit that subscribe button. I post the video again, like I said, at least once a day. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the channel. Also leave a comment down below because i do these discussion videos to have discussions with you guys so go down in the comments let me know your thoughts about this leak and oh my god let's just dive in it because it is a lot to go through now this is coming from pokebeach.com i'm gonna have a link in the description to the article go over to pokebeach.com show them some love they are a huge news source when it comes to the Pokemon training card games and usually report on a ton of stuff just like this. So again, if you want to stay in the loop, go follow them on Twitter, go to their website, check them out. Now in their article, they say a hollow Chimchar promo has been pulled from the rare slot of a Darkness Ablaze booster pack. Though rare, it is not the first time we've seen an upcoming card being accidentally mixed in with the wrong product, which is amazing to me. I, I, I can't fathom a huge company like the Pokemon Trading Card Company to actually get a miss up like that. And <laughs> to me, that's just crazy, especially something this big. This big, the 25th anniversary, you get mixed up into a regular booster pack. <laughs> it says the Chimchar is a hollow reprint of the Ultra Prism and has a McDonald's set symbol on it and a hollow for you pattern. It is copyright dated is 2021. It is card 12 of 25, which means we should be getting 25 cards McDonald's set next year. So basically... It's a reprint, yes, of an Ultra Prism card. They usually do that for the McDonald's cards. Just take a old card and make it hollow and throw the McDonald's logo somewhere on it. Maybe change the copyright date as we see the copyright dates for 2021. We are still in 2020. Please get us out of this year. And it's also card 12 of 25, meaning that we are going to get a full set of 25 Probably all of the starter Pokemon. That's the conclusion that they're drawing. I'm going to go into that in a second. Obviously, the most important part here is that there is a stamp in the corner of the artwork with the cheeks of the Pikachu are stylized as a 25. This means that the promo is celebrating the Pokemon's 25th anniversary, which is coming up on February 27th, 2021. And it makes sense that there will be a 25 cards in this set. This means we will probably get the McDonald's set in February. Again, dating the McDonald's set probably in February because of the fact that the Pokemon 25th anniversary is going to be next year february on the 27th they're probably gonna do a huge blowout and have like a pokemon press conference like they usually do every year but on the 20th anniversary they went and did a whole huge thing i believe where they announced i believe sun and moon i could be wrong i, I it's hard to remember i do remember that they had a ton of plushies and a ton of like hats and clothing items that had this 20th anniversary logo it looks like they're gonna be trying to be making the same splash next year with the 25th anniversary now the card is 12 out of 25 which they state is rather late for the fire type card to appear in the set that's halfway through but this could mean that this set will feature every single starter pokemon plus pikachu for a total of 25 cards if true the set list would be bulbasaur as one chikorita as two trico as three turquick as four Snivy as five, Chespin as six, seven as Rowlet, eight as Grookey. Basically going through all the grass starter Pokemon first and then picking up with nine as Charmander, 10 as Cyndaquil, 11 with Torchic, 12 with Chimchar, 13 with Tempeg, 14 with Frexian, 15 with Litten, 16 with Scorbunny, and then picking up with the water Pokemon. Again, going all the way to 24 with Snobble, and then 
25 being Pikachu, which also happens to be Pikachu Poco Dex number. So again, these are professionals that basically cover the Pokemon company all the time, making this educated guess. And it does sound spot on. It's something that we would see from one, a McDonald's set from in two that coincides with the fact that this is a base Pokemon. And usually in sets, the base Pokemon numbers are very early and that, you know, seeing a Pokemon, a base Pokemon anyway, with 12 is very rare, especially for a starter Pokemon that has to evolve twice. They usually have those at the beginning of the those decks. Now, again, Poke Beach is confirming on Twitter that they have multiple sources that say that they've seen the card, that it is real, it's a real thing. So again, I am going 100% and backing Poke Beach with this information and believing it. Again, take what you want, take it with a grain of salt if you need to. But I do believe that this is real, that we are gonna have a huge 25th anniversary celebration next year, because why wouldn't we? The Pokemon company did do a big celebration for the 20th anniversary, five years later, 25th anniversary, why not? go big we do know next year there is going to be pokemon unite dropping from the leaks images that we got earlier this year of pokemon unite those leaks came with the information that the game is slated to drop 2021 as well as pokemon snap pokemon snap we currently don't have a date i don't believe that is going to drop this year if well right now with the nintendo switch we actually don't know what's dropping this year um as far as holiday titles i would want Pokemon Snap to be done and come out this year. I don't believe that might be the case. Again, the Pokemon Company and Nintendo kind of march to their own beat. Nintendo does let the Pokemon Company announce and kind of do what they want with their games and their titles. And Nintendo themselves haven't been having like these marquee Nintendo Directs, you know, giving us a brand new update to Pokemon Snap or anything Pokemon related or anything Nintendo related lately as of yet. This year being the 35th anniversary of Mario, there is the rumor of a Mario 3D collection coming out on the Nintendo Switch. And I'll get to that probably in a different video. There's tons of other YouTubers currently covering that. This to me is huge that there is going to be a Pokemon 25th anniversary because that would make sense if they would, you know, line the year up with brand new Pokemon games, including a brand new Nintendo Switch mainline Pokemon game that I'm currently excited for. A lot of people are speculating that because of this Chimchar leak, you know, 25th anniversary, that the next year Pokemon games is going to be Sinnoh games. Now, don't hold your breath because they might be Sinnoh games because Pokemon loves doing remakes. However, there's nothing to coincide with the fact that we are getting a remake of those Diamond and Pearl games. The 25th anniversary to me would be a cool time to see them however i wouldn't put it past the pokemon company doing a let's go johto game and calling that the main line game for 2021 with the 25th anniversary or i wouldn't be so surprised if they did you know dlc for pokemon sword and shield and try to drag that game into 2021 as well I don't really think they're going to do Gen 9. I don't think they're ready for that. That might be a huge step forward. But I could also see them, you know, taking a year off as well. To me, that's crazy talk, considering that the fact that it is the 25th anniversary. Why would you take a year off? But I would think they would take a year off and maybe bring other classic games like the Game Boy games or, you know, maybe the Game Boy Advance games, the DS games, even including Diamond Pro. But again, bring those over virtual console style into the Nintendo Switch so we can bring those Pokemon and move them over into our Pokemon home, making that easier to complete the national decks in that. There's a ton of stuff that they could do for the Pokemon 25th anniversary. And to me, this is why this is huge. This leak is huge. The fact that we're having a 25th anniversary to me is bigger than the fact that we're getting obviously a McDonald's set for the 25th anniversary. It's huger than potentially this leaking a Diamond and Pearl remake. I don't really think that just because it was a Chimchar that leaked that this confirms that it was a Diamond and Pearl remake. Nah, I don't, I don't believe so. Obviously, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is a discussion video. I want to hear from you guys. Let's have that discussion in the comments because to me, it's a head scratcher. I don't know what we're going to see. If I had to bet, I would bet Unite. I would bet Snap. I will bet a mainline Pokemon game, whether that is Let's Go Johto, whether that is DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, whether that is Sinnoh remakes, whether that is a just left field 
brand new Pokemon game, Gen 9 or remake or whatever they want to do with the brand new games. For me, it's it's a kind of wild card to kind of guess what their plans is for the 25th anniversary. But if I had to set it in stone again, Unite, Snap, events in all Pokemon games and end it, top it off with a brand new release at the end of the year. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I will be answering all comments in the comments. So Again, let's have that conversation down there. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. If you're enjoying the vibes, I do videos like this every day. Discussion videos, Pokemon videos, tips, strategies, let's plays. I do it all. So again, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one